Hello and welcome to the Philippines. Today we're going to continue our ride around uh, the Camotes Islands. Uh, but first I'm going to show you on a map a little bit about where they're at here. The colored in regions are considered the province of Cebu. You have the large island in the middle, Cebu. You have the Camotes Islands over on the right hand side and the large island and then on the very north uh, to the left of Cebu is uh, uh, Bantayan Islands and Malapascu Islands. Now you can leave Cebu City's right there in the center area there. You can leave there on a fast ferry. It will take you over towards uh, San Francisco proper which is right in the area where the two big islands are connected or you can go north of there to Danao City and take a ferry uh, over to Consuelo. You have four islands there, the two largest ones, uh, San Francisco and Poro. Uh, San Francisco is also called uh, Pacajan, I believe, island. And you have a causeway right in, in between the two big islands, and you can drive across that uh, from one to the other. Right at that connection is San Francisco proper town. And uh, there's a market there. There's some bars, restaurants, uh, lodges, a uh, number of things. Most of the resorts are out along the coast of each of those uh, islands. I uh, did not get to Pilar, so I'm not too sure about that island yet. We were traveling around Poro and we went up to the highest point on uh, Camotes Islands, a, a mountain up there, and uh, I'll give you a view from up on top of that mountain. Camotes has a number of caves as well as at least one waterfall, and I'll give you information on that in another video. The town of Poro uh, is about four to five kilometers from the town of San Francisco. And this road is going to take us through the town of uh, Poro. Uh, you get to see a little bit of, little bit of the town. Uh, there is an inn there coming up here on the left called Heritage Inn. I have no idea what their rates are, that type of thing. Uh, but you could probably search them online and check them out. They have a community uh, area there, building, lots of little stores and shops on the sides of the buildings, uh, town hall, government offices, uh, quite a few fairly nice homes. And uh, what I've read about many different islands is if you don't want to stay at various resorts, is that there are families that will rent rooms out uh, to tourists, and it's just a matter of asking around. Uh, some of the most networked people in the world, they will know somebody who knows somebody who has a room for rent. Probably save you some money if that's what you're after. We did run into road, some road construction along the way, which made it a little more interesting.
There are lots of beautiful views as we r drive around the island. Uh, sometimes you find people out here fishing, either for uh, uh, clams and uh, all types of different fish out there, I'm sure. Several good-looking houses, uh, different places we pass by. Uh, I wish I had time to stop and check and see if, what the rental rates were. And this is the pier at the town of Tudela. I believe the name is the town of Tudela. They've also got a, a, a bit of a public market here just straight behind us. And now we'll take a look from Alta Vista, which is the highest point on Poro Island. We're looking across the causeway over at San Francisco Island. Uh, the uh, two lakes up there, it's called Lake Danau, freshwater lake on uh, San Francisco Island, which is also called uh, Pekajan Island, I believe. Beautiful view up there. They also have a shelter up there as well as a radio tower, I guess. Um, they sell some snacks and uh, beer and other types of drinks up there. Uh, anyway, a great place to uh, view the area and it's uh, free to go up there. The road coming up was a little rough so I didn't get a whole lot of video of that. Uh, so thank you for coming along. Please like, subscribe, and share. See you next time.